Protecting ourselves and others from coronavirus, COVID-19. This is a BAPS Charities special health awareness announcement to alert our audience about the recent coronavirus disease known as COVID-19, which causes respiratory illness and spreads from person to person. In this presentation, we will learn about four main topics. Steps for prevention, identifying symptoms, what to do if you have symptoms, and caring for the ill. Prevention. For those who do not have symptoms, the primary goal is prevention. By taking these important steps, we will be reducing the chance of getting the virus ourselves and spreading it to others. Although it may sound simple, it is extremely important that we follow the guidance provided. This virus is very easily transmittable through bodily fluids. Therefore, it is important to take the following measures. We must protect our face, our hands, our environment and our community. We will look at each of these in more detail now. Protect your face. The virus can easily enter your body through the face. You should avoid unnecessarily touching your face, eyes, nose or mouth with unclean hands. If you do have to touch your face, make sure your hands are clean and disinfected. If possible, use a tissue to touch your face and then immediately throw the tissue in the trash. Then, thoroughly wash your hands with soap. Protect your hands. Keeping your hands clean throughout the day is extremely important to minimize the risk of obtaining and spreading the virus. There are two effective ways to clean and disinfect your hands. The first is to wash your hands with soap and water, lathering the soap for at least 20 seconds. A good way to remember how long to wash your hands is to say the Swaminarayan Jainad twice. The second method is to use alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. It is important to let the sanitizer dry completely before touching anything else, otherwise it will not be as effective. If you have to touch another person or are in a public area like a supermarket, office, in your place of work or public transport, it is important to clean and disinfect your hands as soon as you return home. Again, remember not to touch your face before washing your hands. Protect your environment. The virus can survive on certain surfaces up to 10 hours. The exact amount is still a matter of research. Therefore, it is important to keep your home, workspace, car and other surroundings clean. This can be done by using both a cleaner and a disinfectant. A cleaner, like soap and water, will remove dirt from surfaces. A disinfectant will help to remove germs, including coronavirus. Desktops, tables, counters, door handles, light switches and other high traffic areas should be regularly cleaned and disinfected. Especially clean your phone daily because it can carry many germs. Cleaner environments mean less chances of infection from the virus. Protect your community. When you have to interact with other people, it is important to keep at least one meter between each other to reduce the risk of transmitting the virus. Just because you have abided by the guidelines properly does not mean the other person has. It is very important that we avoid unnecessary gatherings as the virus can be easily transmitted when there are groups of people in a closed environment. This includes social gatherings, birthday parties, weddings, etc. The UK government has advised that everyone should avoid non-essential contact with others. People should work from home where possible and avoid unnecessary travel. The government has also advised to avoid gatherings with family and friends and keep in touch by phone, the internet and social media. The UK government has advised that even if you're healthy and over 70, you should avoid non-essential contact with others. However, if you're over 70 with underlying health conditions, 
The UK government has advised you self-isolate for 12 weeks from 21st March 2020. Women who are pregnant and those who are under 70 but have underlying health issues have also been advised by the UK government to avoid non-essential contact with others and take extra care. Identifying symptoms Being infected with the coronavirus can result in symptoms that resemble a cold or a flu. It is important to recognise these symptoms and know when to seek medical attention. Basic symptoms include a temperature of 37.8 degrees Celsius or higher, a persistent new cough, shortness of breath, and body aches and pains. Be mindful of concerning symptoms that indicate that the disease may be worsening. These include a persistent or worsening temperature or any difficulty in breathing. What if I have symptoms? If you have any of the basic or concerning symptoms, there are certain steps that should be taken to protect yourself and your family. First and foremost, it is important that you do not panic. Most individuals will recover quickly through routine care. You should take steps to isolate yourself from your family by using a different bedroom and bathroom if possible. The UK government is now advising if you live alone and have symptoms of coronavirus illness, however mild, stay at home for seven days from when your symptoms started. If you live with others, and you or one of them have symptoms of coronavirus, then all household members must stay at home and not leave the house for 14 days. The 14-day period starts from the day the first person in the house became ill. It is likely that people living within a household will infect each other or be infected already. Staying at home for 14 days will greatly reduce the overall amount of infection the household could pass on to others in the community. After seven days, if the first person to become ill feels better and no longer has a high temperature, they can return to their normal routine. If any other family member becomes unwell during the 14-day household isolation period, they should follow the same advice. That is, after seven days of their symptoms starting, if they feel better and no longer have a high temperature, they can also return to their normal routine. All these guidelines are available on the NHS website, 111.nhs.uk. Please consult the website first, but do not go to your GP or the A&E at hospital. You should also stay hydrated by drinking plenty of fluids. Caring for the ill If someone at home is ill, the following steps should be taken to reduce the risk of transmission. The patient should be isolated from others, with their own separate bedroom and bathroom if possible. Do not take them to your GP or the local hospital's A&E. When caring for the patient, you should, if possible, wear a mask and gloves. If it is not possible to wear a mask and gloves as a caregiver, the caregiver should keep their hands and face clean using the methods described previously. Surfaces touched by the patient should be cleaned and disinfected frequently. Monitor the patient for worsening symptoms including a persistent or worsening fever or difficulty breathing. More information. Please be very careful about any messages you may receive about this disease through social media forums such as WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram or Facebook. If there is any doubt about the information you receive, please visit the NHS website for confirmation. Taking these preventative steps and following the guidelines mentioned in this presentation will help to minimise the risk of contracting this virus and transmitting it to others. Together, we can protect ourselves and others.